Okay, well, our first tests showed that 11 volts is the cutoff uh, when using the Charger 1. Now we're going to test it using the cigarette unit, which is right here. Powered on. And I'm going to use the SunFun kit, which I believe the charge rate is right now at 50%. I'll take a picture of that. I'm using uh, number 14. I prefer 12, but I couldn't find any. So, number 14 is uh, the smallest I would use, likewise with this. And the plan, I'm going to be making my own set of cables designed strictly for the use of the battery. And I'll have this one wired up in the truck when we're driving. So I'll have two options of uh, charging this battery. At 11 volts cutoff, not a problem. It's going to work beautiful. I'm assuming with the cigarette uh, lighter connection, it will be the same, but we'll find out. And I'll show you a video of what I've run with this one. So we're just going to run a heater. Let me see if I I have it right here. Oh, there you go. And I gotta put this on, right? Or did I turn it off? Probably. No, it's on. There you go. <clears throat> so this way, I'm gonna be checking the voltage there. Okay, so that's uh, the setup. Okay, this is the uh, cigarette lighter that I'm using. Uh, it's number 14, about six feet. If you go any lo longer than that, you know, you go for like 15 feet or something, I definitely go for a number 12. Not that I'd be using it, I don't think, uh, seeing I have the uh, Charger 1, but it's there just in case I'll have it all set up. And with the switch, it's uh, very handy. And... I have a couple of these installed in my RV, uh, those little sockets, and even USB. If you want USB, you can get them with a USB and a cigarette uh, a plug, which I have already installed in my RV. So I just need it for the truck, and that's all I need. <laughs> I have USB in the truck itself. So again, it's uh, number 14, and this way there'll be no voltage drop. Now, I'm going to be replacing the cable that Blue Eddie gave. It was like number 16. Way too light, way too light. Now, I think it's over six feet and, and it has a, the dual uh, connectors. So I just got one here. It's five feet. I have the XT60, uh, which will plug in and this will plug into the pigtail that's on the uh, Charger 1. And I'll probably be using th this. Three feet is all I need. And I have uh, a fuse designed specifically, so it's going to be fused at, uh, at the battery terminal, and I have uh, the switch on the other one. So, so that's the setup. Um, I have, I'm waiting for that cable to come in before I can uh, complete that. Okay, so this is the battery. Right now it's at 1310. When I started, 45%. It's a 200 amp unit. And uh, I'll make a quick video here. Hold on. Okay. So the voltage is 13.10. Battery charge, state of charge is 45%. I'm putting enough load using the heater, which is about 448 watts. And it looks like it's charging at 100 watts. So naturally, it's going to lose the fight. But uh, we'll find out when the shutoff is. Okay, these are the fuses I use at the battery. This gets connected at the battery. Even on my Victron system, even though I have fuses in my distribution system, every battery 
terminal, the plus side, the plus terminals, I put one of these in. Uh, 58 volts, this one's 125 amps. And uh, I have, uh, I think, 200 amps for most of them. And you know, it works. This will blow first before it'll blow the one in my uh, distribution. And it fits quite well. You know, you just basically mount it like this and have the cable. And they're not expensive. Okay, so that's what I'm, I'm gonna use. Using a cigarette lighter to uh, charge this up using a battery would be only okay if you hook it up in the evening and let it run all night to bring it back up. Otherwise, if speed is more important, then I would definitely recommend the uh, Charger 1. Because uh, you can go up to 570. This one here is strictly 100. Okay, this is the Bluetti program. Taking a look at it, as you can see, 100 watts from the cigarette lighter. When I started, it set two and a half hours. Now it says two hours and 18. I notice it seems to charge up pretty quick towards the top end. I usually it's sometimes expect it the other way around. And uh, in regarding to the Charger 1, the breaker that they provided, as I mentioned in the previous video, there was uh, one loose connecting connection. Not not very loose, but just I had to snug it a bit. If for some reason I find it still gets warm with its new setup, then I have a better quality breaker. Uh, still 60 amp, but I'm sure it will run cooler. If assuming that uh, there's not an internal issue with the breaker there, um, connection or something. If, because to me, it was a little bit too warm. I did not think it was right. But a poor connection could do that too. So we'll have to wait when we test for the next time. Okay. As I mentioned on the next video, I will give you the results. I think the biggest thing you want to take away from this 11 volts is a cutoff, and you want to match the 11 volts that's on the Charger 1 uh, Bluetti app to the BMS voltage. And I'm hoping with my replacement of the cables with heavier stuff and maybe even the breaker, yeah, the, the readings will be much closer together, which means I could charge the last 10% or whatever is left. Even though I, if I left it like this, I, it'll still charge it twice. But anyways, again, it will be appreciated. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. Thumbs up. Thank you again. Okay, I stepped out and happened to come into the room and... What? Fully charged already? Wow. And... Uh, only 10% of the battery of 200 amps that it took to raise this 10%. Well, it looks like using a lithium battery will do the trick. 11 volts. The battery is just about exhausted before you drop down to 11 volts. And uh, it makes this unit very practical for... Uh, road trips, uh, for van life, um, for camping on the weekend, that type of sort, you know, if you're tenting. I mean, for an RV, now you're better off with uh, a whole different uh, system because you're probably wanting all the capacity, air conditioning, stuff like that, uh, which we have with our, our RV. And of course, a generator is usually essential with an RV setup if you're long term in an RV. Okay, yeah, I'm just uh, waiting for more uh, material there for me to continue on with my other tests. Eventually I have to uh, see what I can do with that thousand watts option using the solar. I'm hoping I can 
use something else besides solar and replacement of that. Uh, have a nice day and take care. If you haven't done so, it would be appreciated. Please subscribe. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day.